大量に寄り添ったカップを巻かればまた暗距離落ちてこよた何が見える何が響いてる Has gone missing in the vicinity of Narima City, Tokyo. No one's seen or been in touch with her since she left her home late at night on the 4th of this month. While details remain secret, the police believe she may have been involved in an incident. We Homo sapiens just received the results of round one of the N1. And hey, we passed! Well, of course we did. Even amateurs can make it past round one. Where do you think the finish line is? Last year we failed in round two, so... And after ten years in this business, too. Crap, it still pisses me <laughs> off. <laughs> Take it easy. Seriously, why? Those judges were clueless. Not this again. I'm telling you, we were set up. Why were we being judged by guys who aren't as funny as us in the first oh, place? Look, uh, fresh fan mail. It's from high school student Satoshi Nagashima in Tokyo. It reads, Good evening, I went to see round one. Let me cut to the chase. Uh, your jokes aren't funny. You guys went a full minute before you even cracked one joke, and you never followed it up. You just made the same joke over and over again, which got some awkward applause. It was top-tier cringe. Come up with some better jokes if you want to have a shot in a prize competition. Who the hell's this guy?、Uh, how about some music? This is Mystery Kiss's debut single, Supernatural Love Phenomenon. Let's go! Turning that thing off, I can't hear myself think.
So tell me, anything interesting happened to you lately? Uh, anything interesting? Huh. Uh... Forget it, time's up. All that waiting made me realize I don't really care that much about the answer. Don't worry about it. When I'm asked a question, I come up with about five possible answers. It takes me a second to pick just one. I try to weigh out which response is the one least likely to offend anyone. I bet you respond quickly with what pops into your head without considering the answer. You're offending me right now. Why'd you ask me that question anyway? I'm trying to go viral. Viral? Yeah, I'm trying to get my post to spread all over social media. What for? Because all my friends have, so why not me? So you're wasting your time on pointless shit, huh? It's not pointless shit. Social media is important. Likes, shares, and followers represent a person's worth. Even some job recruiters take it into account. Huh. So what posts go viral? Uh, it depends. Stuff that's funny, stuff that gives you the feels, cute animals, poetic justice, and things like that. Posts about foreigners' perspectives on gender in Japan have been making the rounds lately. For example? Okay, like this one here. The other day, I overheard this conversation at Starbucks. Man, I don't want to go to the dentist. Having lots of cavities is an indication that you're loved. It means that your parents fed you mouth to mouth or shared a spoon with you when you were a little kid. Seriously? By the way, I have zero cavities. To hear all that when I simply intended to sit and write a manuscript was such a precious gift. Cool, right? Sounds gross to me. That bit about writing a manuscript was self-serving. Plus, they're saying, not only did I witness this, but my retelling of it shows off my great taste and skill as a writer. It's just oozing with vanity and ego stroking. It's sickening. Wow, you're really not afraid to be a hater, are you? Well, it's not like you can make something up. You can totally make it up. This post probably is. And you're okay with all that? Oh, I just had a great idea! Hey, driver, would you mind taking a selfie of us two hanging out together? Will that go viral? Look, just do it, okay? There we go. Look! And that little lie's gonna become viral? Wholesome posts tend to dominate the web, too. Anyway, you sure to pick up on the term viral quickly, Grandpa. Shouldn't you blur out the faces or something? Oh, you mean your face? Some people don't want to be seen on the web, huh? No, I mean yours. And why would I blur my face? Are you saying I'm dead or that I've got to hide myself from the world? Orokawa, it's you. Why'd you say it like that? I've got a passenger. Make it quick. Look here. You seen this guy? That's weird. Aren't you friends with him? Hmm? It's just procedure. Use your damned head. What's he mean, bro? Tell me. Just forget it. He's crazy, little bro. Are we done? Can't you brothers just argue back home? We're good. Move along now. Right. Hey, bro, what do you think he meant when he said you and this wanted criminal are friends? Listen, little bro. Don't listen to a word that comes out of that guy's mouth. Oh, you mean since taxi drivers aren't reliable people? Exactly. That loathsome one in particular lies like it's no big deal. What? Man, what a turd! Ah, oh, please stop. I should have taken a picture of that. It's like something out of a TV show. I don't like that little do-gooder. He's a stickler about stupid, inconsequential details. You do have a license, right? Yeah, I guessed on the vision test, though. That's kind of an important part. You've got me kind of scared here. You're fine. It's just night blindness. It's nighttime now. I'm kind of curious. Why'd you become a taxi driver in the first place? Hmm?
Time's up, bud. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, here is fine. Five thousand six hundred ten. Here's exact change. Thanks for that. Make sure you've got everything. <sighs> if we don't make it this year, we're through. Are you being serious, Shibagaki? You're the one holding us back, you know. Would you mind not saying that on public airwaves? Shut up, you nincompoop! Wow, you had to blow the dust off that insult. Uh, anyway, let's just move on to our next segment. Cutting through this week's news, Shibagaki Eyes. Apparently, a high school girl has gone missing in the vicinity of Narima City. Yeah, scary stuff. It'd be nice if she turned up safe and not... Uh... You know. Absolutely. So she's still missing them? Yeah, that's why she's in the news. Uh, sorry. Forgot my phone. Could you come back? <sighs> I told you to make sure you had everything. Hey, check the post. All I'm trying to say hmm. is that I hope she comes back safe. The, the notifications won't stop. Cutting through at all. Seriously? Uh, well, it went just, viral! Just what? I'm worried, okay? Right. Seriously concerning. I mean it, really. Over in Narima City, right? What's going to happen next? Well, if they're listening to this radio program, we can only hope. According to the police, the student spoke with her family around 10 p.m. and then left her parents' home for the evening. A security camera captured her entering a taxi after leaving the convenience store near her home, where she was shopping alone and wearing a turquoise sweater and a blue skirt. After this, the young girl went missing and her mother submitted an official missing persons report to the police on the 6th. Are you happy? You're free to leave, you know. You can run away whenever you like. I haven't trapped you here or tied you up in any way. You continue to stay here by choice. Why did you come to my place anyway? Oh, are you hungry? I'm gonna head back to the clinic now. I'm working after that, so I'll be back late. And again, you're free to run away anytime. Tell me, Otokawa. Been sleeping well? I drift off to sleep while listening to Rakugo. I've already got the whole thing memorized, you quack. Master Don Raku Shofute's routine? That's the one. You know about him? I do. I even have a Don Raku eraser. You're kidding. I don't understand it, but it is an original Master Donraku Eraser for sure. Who the hell needs something like that? Apparently there's only one of them in the whole world. So how did you end up with it? Well, um, uh, I'd like you to have it. <laughs> Donraku's Rakugo builds such expansive scenes, it's pretty easy to follow. You think so? I find it more boring than Sutra's. Oh, must be rough if you still can't sleep after you freed your thoughts. Hey, Otokawa. What do I look like to you? A gorilla. <laughs> well, you're not wrong. So do you listen to Rakugo online? Online? I use cassette tapes. I've not listened to cassette tapes. Kids these days have never heard of those things. They don't even know how to rewind them. <laughs> Stop that right there. We've never touched one, but we know about phonographs, telegraphs, telephone magnetos, and other obsolete stuff. They're in movies and TV shows. So drop the generation gap, BS. Mm. Odokawa, why don't you settle down and get married already? You're even more unexpected than Bruce Springsteen in We Are the World. The guy who comes on after Al Jarreau, right? What are you talking about? When he comes in, it's startling. 
Say what you will, but I think Bruce Springsteen is the MVP of that overplayed song. It's certainly impressive the way he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Stevie Wonder in the back half. But since they filmed separately, Bruce Springsteen recorded his part first. I'm starting to think you just like saying the name Bruce Springsteen. Hey, it's a cool name. Who doesn't want to say it? Try saying Bruce Springsteen three times fast. I'll do five. Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen, Bruce Springsteen. You only said it right Bruce once. Spring Dean, but whatever. Doctor. Mm -hmm. Huh? You shouldn't keep your next patient waiting. Right. Anyway, uh, maybe you'd sleep better if you got married. Sounds like you're throwing in the towel. We done here? Hold up. Let me prescribe a stronger medicine. You're working now? Do it after. Right, I'll take it driving. Hey. What are you doing? We received information linking you to the Narima missing high school girl case. How'd you know I'd be here anyway? I stopped by your place, but your car wasn't there. I thought about forcing your front door wide open, but... Were you about to break into my car? I won't break into anything if you'll cooperate with me. Is this an official investigation? Why are you working on your own? I'll make it simple. If you've got nothing to hide, open the damn door. Hmm. This dash cam films the inside of your vehicle, is that correct? That's right. How long do you store the recordings? It starts recording when passengers get in or out of the car, or if it detects odd movement, and that fills up about every two weeks. She'll be on here then. Who? The high school girl from Narima that got in your car. Wait, what? You heard me. I'll be taking this data. Police business. I'll expect your continued cooperation on this. And for now, this stays between us. And what if it doesn't? It's for your own protection, unless you like getting gunned down by criminals. Lately, my back's been killing me. Oh? Sorry to hear. What about your cleaning job? They can handle that job just fine without me. From society's viewpoint, I'm no better than the trash. The company won't care at all. They'd rather have someone a bit younger anyway. I could die and they wouldn't even notice. <laughs> you weren't supposed to laugh. I wasn't. Show moral support. Hey. Hello, doctor, and good evening. A beer, please. So, how are you, Kakihana? Mm, well, aside from my back, not bad, thanks to you, Dr. Goriki. Odokawa called me a quack earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something you'd say. <laughs> I was hoping you two would try talking to him. About what? Tell Odokawa to go to a bigger hospital. Is something wrong with him? Mm. Don't you think he's a bit strange? Frankly, he's always been a lot strange. He's sarcastic and hates people. His parents abandoned him. That'd make anyone twisted. That's not it. It's more like it's something more fundamental. Oh, I ran into Daimon the other day. He said something peculiar. He thought Otokawa might be involved in the Narima missing girl case. Seriously? Yeah. He questioned Otokawa's neighbors. They said they heard him talking to someone when he supposedly lives alone. Strange, right? 
Maybe he was on a call. I heard the police were also looking for that Dobu guy. Wait, he's a pretty dangerous guy. What do you know about him? What did he do? Well, I've heard. He single-handedly beat up a bunch of drunk thugs who got rowdy at a club. One of them was an underground martial artist to come out with a single blow. Damn, he can sure handle himself. The group that underground martial artist belongs to got together and tried to get back at Dobu, but he beat them up instead. I bet biotechnology is the only thing that can defeat him. I'm not sure how much of that is true, but either way, I wouldn't want to mess with him. The story's pretty hard to believe overall, but yeah, I'm with you on that one. By the way, ma'am, and this is just between us, I promise I won't get upset, so please be honest with me. Would you marry me if I... No way. Turtle! <laughs> so fast, why not? Well, it's because... It's money. It's always money, isn't it? I see money as the byproduct of a person's abilities, okay? It's important. You don't know what true love is, ma'am. What a shame. All right, what are some of the benefits of marrying you, then? List them oh, off. I'll never hit you. Don't list something obvious like it's a non-nuclear principle. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. Okay, Give okay. Give a break. Yes? Uh, good evening, Doctor. I've got a question. What is it? Did you know that we have some medicine missing? No, I didn't. How much is missing? I noticed it earlier, but now I, I think even more is gone. Psychotropic drugs. About 6,000 pills. Hmm. Who else was working today? Hmm. Splurging for a taxi after work, huh? Nurses must make good money. I'm surprised that you remembered me. Well, you're the only alpaca around here. <laughs> hey, what's so funny? <laughs> Just being polite? I never understand what young people these days are thinking. Now it's your turn to drop the generation gap BS. <laughs> So, do taxi drivers get a lot of girls? It depends on the person. I bet you get some cute passengers sometimes though, right? Like idols. Uh, sometimes. Oh, lucky. How's it going? Gone viral again? Uh, dude, give me a break. 